Extreme storms, flooding, hotter temperatures, less snow, and more mud. There's no question things are changing. But we know that we can tackle this like we do any challenge, by working together. Responsibly developing floating offshore wind in the Gulf of Maine is a huge opportunity for Maine to lead the way in building the homegrown clean energy we need to stabilize electricity prices and create new jobs. Thankfully, more than a decade of innovative research by students and researchers at the University of Maine has positioned us to be an international leader in floating offshore wind technology. Unlocking the clean, reliable energy generated by offshore wind will provide about half of the electricity Maine needs by 2040. That's because the Gulf of Maine has some of the strongest and most consistent winds in the world. Winds in the Gulf of Maine peak in the winter months when our energy use is the highest, and offshore wind generates the most power at night, complementing solar energy which peaks during the day. The two are natural partners. Because ocean waters off Maine's coast become deep very quickly, wind turbines will need to be placed on floating platforms anchored to the sea floor. They will connect to the grid with buried power cables, the same kind of cables that already connect many of Maine's island communities to the grid. Developing a port in Maine will be necessary to construct floating wind turbines and support the thousands of new, good-paying jobs that will be created. Environmental organizations and labor unions are working together to make sure offshore wind will be responsibly developed to protect wildlife, maximize economic benefit to local towns, and avoid critical fishing grounds. Maine-made offshore wind presents the opportunity of a century to continue our proud maritime and shipbuilding heritage. It is a practical solution to the economic and energy challenges facing us and we can't meet our climate goals without it. Join us in supporting this exciting new clean energy industry for Maine.